Hi, my schoolers. This is my school channel and my name is Abiola. Right here in this video lesson, we are going to solve the topic logic or you can refer to it as logical reasoning. All right. We are going to look at the different operations associated with logic, the symbols, what they mean and how to use them. Of course, I believe this is going to be a very interesting and interactive session. Please do not go anywhere. Stay with us and we'll be right back. Yo, welcome back to my school YouTube channel and right here in this video lesson we are going to walk through the topic logic or you can refer to it as logical reasoning okay so we have the definition we have the operations attached with logic and we have the symbols that should be identified okay when it comes to logic at first under the concept logic you know if you want to define logic you have to tap it from the root word logos okay which means study discourse or reason all right so we have the definition you know it, it's about a statement or a proposition okay that uh, relates a sentence that is giving a declaration or that is giving information about something so i can put this that proposition is a statement okay that declares something and this declaration you can say it is true or it is false all right so we now have the aspect regarding statement you know a statement can be a simple one or it can be complex or compound okay like for instance i can say the earth is very kind in shape okay you can see that i can say that is true i can say that is false all right so if i want to make a compound statement or i want to make a complex statement i want to join at least two statements together okay i can say if i go to the gym then i will build up my muscles so we can see that so that is an expression that's bringing two things together or you can say i will go to dubai to buy some goods of course that's another combination as well so we can tell confidently that this topic is very interesting and of course we can look at certain symbols okay when it comes to logic and we should not forget that logic is actually at least in the logical context that we are talking about here you know what is not a statement okay that is important for us to note as well you know a question is not a statement like what are you doing there okay i can't say true or false all right so a question is not a statement an exclamation is not a statement a command is not a statement okay a wish is not a statement an entity is not a statement all right so let's move on to the symbols or you can refer to them as the logical connectives or the logical connectors or the bridges that are used when it comes to logic all right so we have this we have this okay we have this we have this Okay, we have this of course we have um, so much more to walk around with okay so this is the cup like symbol that we see in sets okay this is like union or you can use the word or union or okay or that is just it here okay and this is and you know just like what we have regarding intercession okay remember your union all right so this is represented with and okay this is a representation for and okay this is or this is and okay and this is imply so a implies b of course this is implies by okay implied by or how do you want to put it and this can represent at least a by conditional statement or a by implication or of course some presentation will give you that this stands for um, an equivalent expression or you can say equivalent statement okay so now let's go to some operations or some operators that we should be familiar with when it comes to the topic logic so at first we have what we call the direct or the conditional statement or an implication okay this is just telling you about you know where we have um, statements being brought together by this sign 
okay you are using the sign of implication imply so like for instance let me say i have two statements you know you can show or identify statement by using letters okay so let's say i'm using letters p and letters q so let me say today is wednesday the first statement is today is wednesday tomorrow is thursday so if you look at this statement that i have just ex uh, written out okay you can see that i can say this is true or false of course you can say this is also true or false okay so that will tell you that for a statement or a proposition under the logical context or logical reasoning okay you can add you can assign the true or the false value to it so in a in in a kind of setup all right so you can always at, attach what we call the truth value you know the truth value can be false or the truth value can be true okay so when the truth value is false you represent it with f okay if it is if the truth value is true is c okay so we give you the for true as one then for false as zero okay so if you want to say oh a particular statement is true okay so what value do you attach to it you attach the true to it okay for the truth value so truth value can be false or it can be true so you are just trying to tell us okay what is the value or what is the um, correct state of a particular proposition that you've just made okay that thing that's just been said okay is it true or is it false that's why we call it truth value okay so the truth value can be true or it can be false so if, when it is true you use t or one you use f or zero so basically for this video lesson i'm going to be using t instead of one i'm going to be using f so i'll be using t and f okay so if you look at this statement i presented here statement p and statement q Okay, so I can, you can say today is Wednesday. You can tell if that is true or false. Okay, you can attach that value to it. And you can see I have tomorrow is Thursday for statement Q. So for a direct statement or for a conditional statement or for an implication, okay, this is how I represent it. I will now say if today is Wednesday, then tomorrow is Thursday. Okay, so let me just show that using the logical connector. So you can see this symbol we have here it means implies or you can say if then so i can put it this way if p then q do you see that so i can say comfortably that if today is wednesday then tomorrow is thursday so you can see that connection so any expression that you have this way you know, when you bring two statements together and you are using this connector to put them together all right so that tells you that that is an implication or that is a conditional statement okay so i'm still going to uh, show you what the truth value will be okay based on the truthfulness or the falsehood of the statement presented okay i'm going to use tables to explain all of this concept to us so we have the by conditional just like the name implies no by conditional to okay two conditional statements okay being brought together all right so we have negation so for the by conditional this is the symbol and it means if and only if so do you get it now so if i want to say p and q right statement p and q so I, if i want to use the by conditional expression so that will be if today is wednesday right if and only if tomorrow is thursday okay or you can put it the right way that you want to put it okay but basically this means if and only if okay so i can say properly today is wednesday if and only if tomorrow is thursday okay so just make sure that we are putting this if and only if okay to represent this expression of course as we go deeper in the video or further in the video i'm going to shed more light on this concept okay so we have negation no negation is just like word and opposite the opposite of a statement that you have just made okay either it is verbal or it is written okay like for instance the opposite of this statement will could be today is probably thursday okay i can or i can change this as tomorrow is wednesday okay you are telling the opposite of something 
all right so that is negation and you use this symbol to represent negation okay just like your complement you know just like you say that a particular element or member is not present in a particular set so this is like complement or, or it can say not so i can say today is not wednesday that's the negation of the statement right the statement states that today is wednesday so the negation will be today is not you can say that word not so you can use not or force to represent negation I, or i can say it is false that today is wednesday what if i want to use it for statement q tomorrow is thursday that's the statement right so if i want to negate the statement i will say tomorrow is not thursday okay i can say it is false that tomorrow is thursday so this is what we use to represent negation or you can use your prime or you can use what looks like the vinculum so you can see that to represent statement q so the negation of statement q okay so let's move to converse you know when you talk about converse it's just like you are doing the flip side of the expression that you have okay like for instance you know i have statements p implies q right so i can say if today is wednesday right then tomorrow is thursday so the converse of this statement means these variables p and q i'm just going to switch their position okay when the first become the last and the last the first all right so the converse of this expression now will be q do you see it? so it's going to be if tomorrow is thursday right then today is wednesday okay so the converse we're just switching the position of the variables okay so then we have inverse inverse means you are looking at the complete opposites of your presentation okay so this is what an inverse will now look like okay so this is a statement right p implies q isn't it so here yeah, the inverse will now be So if not P, right, not Q, okay? If not P, then not Q, okay? So you can see that. So if today, you know, the opposite of today is Wednesday is, today is not Wednesday, isn't it? The negation of the statement, tomorrow is Thursday is, tomorrow is not Thursday. So you are just bringing together the negations of the variables, okay? You are using them to replace the regular expression or variables that you have presented so that means you are bringing two negations together okay using the imply all right so it's going to be if today is not wednesday then tomorrow is not thursday okay you can see the not not so it's just the not not or the falsity of this expression so that is what we have concerning inverse okay so when when i now mention um contrapositive you know contrapositive is just like you switching the position of these two all right so contrapositive will now be this first then followed by this okay so let me let me remake this so that we can have a proper presentation regarding this so remember that this is a statement right p implies q isn't it hmm? so the converse means you are switching position of this right so that will be this Q implies P, isn't it? Some presentation can use the double line, double parallel line to represent this. Okay, so, but for this presentation, I can decide to use any one of these two. So either you see it this way, you see your imply this way, okay, or you see it this way, okay, we are saying the same thing. So I have this expression here. So P implies Q, you know, that is your conditional statement, isn't it? So the converse of it will just be I'm switching position isn't it yeah right so what would be the inverse of this expression you know this would be the not not right so it's not p if not p then it's not q do we see that okay so just like we switch position here the same thing we are going to switch position here So you can see converse is a switch in position of the conditional or the direct statement or of an implication where contrapositive okay is just the switching that happens to an inverse expression 
do we see that so converse switches conditional contra positive switches your inverse okay so that means we've done this we've covered this we've covered this 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 and this okay so what is equivalent or when what do you mean or what do i mean if i say statements are equivalent that means their truth value is the same thing okay so if for instance now i have a certain expression i'm going to still show us uh, certain things okay as we move ahead in the topic so equivalent means you know the uh, the statements that you have okay when you look at their truth value on the truth value table okay they have the same truth value okay these are the same thing so that tells you that the statement is equivalent okay just like i can say that three right is equivalent to this so i can see that it's the same thing isn't it but this is just written in word this is written in figure you can see that so we can use the sign to represent equivalence or some expression we give it to you as this the biconditional symbol or they can use this okay so to avoid mix up i may be using this or this okay or whichever one but i will just mention it to us anytime i want to make a swap okay so that is for equivalence then conjunction this is where we have conjunction and disjunction you know conjunction means and all right so that means p and q that is for conjunction p and q all right just like your intersection so today is wednesday and tomorrow is thursday okay that is conjunction you know you are bringing two statements together and you are using the logical connective and okay so why for disjunction you are using the logical connector or the connective this or so that is today is thursday or tomorrow is thursday rather today is wednesday or tomorrow is thursday okay so these are the symbols that we'll be using okay as we move deeper in the topic logic or logical reasoning okay i i believe that this is very very helpful for us please i know you don't want to miss out all you need to do to have access to this full video content is to click on the link in the description below it's going to take you to the my school website okay right there you have information on how you can get your full subscription to these video lessons so do not forget to hit the like button click on the subscribe button and always tap on bell notification so you can get alerts immediately we upload the next video lesson just for you